Have you ever wondered what you could do if you got your hands on some cement? It's not hard to get your hands on cement, but if you do, you can make stuff with it, which is what I'm going to do now. Okay, so this is actually day two of me trying to work with cement. Day one didn't go so well. Dang, I put way too much water in here. wasps in my house sometimes. Blah. Where'd you go? Ah! Get back here. Everybody has a different opinion and a different way of doing these things to where I got the impression in the very beginning just using cement and water was fine and after research it's done less so than I thought it was but people still do it and it's what I have right now so I'm gonna try to make it work I have a few projects I want to try most of them are new. One of them is something I tried the first day and it didn't work at all. But I'm gonna try something a little different. I still don't have high hopes that it's gonna work, but it's worth a shot. With this first project, I'm going to be making a vase with this bottle. Earlier I took the um, labels off which left a sticky mess, but I tried Goo Gone for the first time and that worked very well. And it smells nice. So, um, the next step I'm gonna do is to take this cut up toilet paper roll, but you can use any type of cardboard, it seems. Make it small enough to fit into the hole in the top. I'm going to tape around this. just to give it a little less to stick to. So just lightly tape it on. Try to hold everything in place, make it so it can't leak into the bottle. I'm just going to cut it. Should I just do one of those like video snap things so it cuts itself? Okay, so now what I want to do is wrap this around so it becomes a mold so I can just pour the concrete into here. Tape it once it's there. all around the bottom so that that will help it hopefully not leak and it'll give it a stopping point and then I taped where the edge was to help it not leak there and to just keep it in the right shape and what I'm gonna do is pour the cement all around in here this is what I got off of Amazon Anything I used that I think will be helpful, I'll link in the description below. I'm just going to try to eyeball and hopefully get the right amount of cement and just do small amounts for each project. Okay, I have a thing of water here. Mustard stick. And remember, pour the water in in slow increments. 
as you stir because it's really easy to overwater and then you just start mixing way too much trying to get the right consistency. I didn't learn much the first day, but I did learn that. Everyone has different um, opinions on what the consistency should be like, but I've heard pancake batter, cake batter, other things I don't remember. Just a little bit. Does that look like cake batter? I don't cook enough. Here's what the consistency I'm going with is. I wonder if I can just pour it in without making a complete nut or mess. Please be enough. Oh, I feel like you aren't. Mm, not enough. Uh, it's still not enough! <laughs> I'm really bad at eyeballing this, man. I'm just gonna go with that. I think this is more the case when it's a little thicker, but I think you kinda wanna pound it around a little to get some of the air bubbles out. But mine is very much liquid now that I'm looking at it. So I'm not sure if that's actually helping, but I will do it anyway. Next project is going to be with these two fellas. I want to make candles. And so the bottom half will be cement top half will be wax. The first thing I did was to find a bottle that had a shape that I liked. And like a lot of bottles had the little bulby bottom that a lot of water bottles have, and I didn't want that. The first thing I'm gonna do is, I couldn't find my X-Acto knife, so I'm just gonna try a kitchen knife. It's fine. Will this kitchen knife be useless after I'm done? Maybe. There's one. Oh wait, I'm doing two of them because it'd be nice to have a pair. When you're putting the cement in, you can use this as a funnel just so you're not getting cement on the sides at the top. But if you do, I think you can probably just wipe it off before it dries. One thing that could make it a little bit easier when you're taking these off at the end is to put a little Pam in it. And I'm gonna kinda just Smooth it around. I don't think this is something that you can just like plop it up when it's done and shake it out. I think it's gonna have to be cut out. So I'm just gonna mix more cement than I think is necessary. All right, I have a little bit thicker consistency this time. And if this isn't enough to fill both, I might just end up making one because I want enough of this left over to do other projects I'm thinking about as well. Yeah, this is only gonna be enough for one candle. Try to get some air bubbles out. What if I did this? Hey, hey! So this is keeping it tilted because I want it to not be a straight line when I put the wax in. One of the projects I tried before was to put cement around a balloon to get a cool round shape. I think it was too thin when I did it last time, so it was just hard to put on the balloon. 
Oh, my bare skin that's on the plastic just got ripped off when I moved off of it. So I was thinking I could put the balloon, that will keep it in place because it was really hard to hold it the first time I tried. But the pictures I've seen are cool. So let's see if I can do it. I don't know if this is thick enough. I feel like this might be too thin still. I have a feeling I wouldn't be able to make this one work. Even if this doesn't work, which it won't, it gives you an idea of what's possible because other people have figured out how to do it. I think this is just going to be a beautiful masterpiece in itself. I'm just going to leave the whole thing together like this and call it like Death by Air Balloon. I think I'm going to try to take this. It's already drying, so I think if I could take this out before it's completely dry. I let these dry overnight, and this one is going to fall apart in a blink of an eye. It's just all one beautiful masterpiece now. All right, ready for a science experiment? I don't like popping balloons. Woo! I am noticing, as you see, the cardboard is kind of sticking to it. But I think with some work, I can get that off. So my plan for this one is I'll slowly peel off what I can and then try to sand off even more and try to get it looking like a piece I'd actually want to put out somewhere. Currently, I think my candle is going to turn out the best. Anyway, I'm going to work on these a little bit, trying to get them to look reasonable and decent. I realized as I was trying to figure out how to get this in there that I didn't know how. And I looked at some stuff and I feel like you kind of need glue that I don't have. So for me, I don't use candles that often. So these are purely decorative. So don't copy me if you're wanting to actually make candles and use them. But I'm just gonna hot glue this onto the base and then that will just hold it in place as the wax dries. If you remember, I was gonna make two candles but I didn't have enough cement to do two. I'm trying something to see if it works and it, it helps some of this broken cement not go to waste. So I crumbled the thin cement and put it into the bottom and then I thought once the wax gets in there it'll be pretty liquidy so it'll be able to fill in all the gaps and then just do it and then it might just have a cool design once it dries. So if you mess up so many times just like I did you can make a candle out of it. <laughs> I got natural soy candle wax, but that doesn't really matter now that I'm not going to be actually using these candles. It's heating up nicely. I need to pour some chips in here. I have to estimate how much I'll need, which you know I'm already great at. Put it in here and it just floats. It has to be on medium. I just want to like boil the crap out of this, but I'm guessing that's not a good idea. What I'm going to be curious about is how well it pours. Because I'm just going to be freehanding 
fruit out of a big pot. And that could go two ways. Whoa, it was the perfect amount for one. Now, I need to put these, I just hold that up straight. These might actually turn out so well, but sneak peek, next time you'll see them is when I cut this off. Okay, for my last project, I'm going to be just almost completely copying something I found online. So this was a concrete, DIY concrete trivet by, um, a blog called Hungry Heart, and I will link that blog post below so you can check out all of her stuff. Um, a trivet, I think, overall is something you put below a pot when it's hot. All right. Um, you have to get an ice cube tray that has the sticks that go in water bottles, and then you're going to be filling each of these with cement, but you want to be able to link them all together with some type of fabric. She used leather rope. I, I don't know what I have right now, but something. You have a straw, and you're going to cut the straw into the size of each of these slots. The cement goes around it and leaves the hole. To make it stable, we're putting sticky tack in it. This. I'm just trying to make it so that there's enough on the top and bottom of it that it won't crack or mess up the hole. Okay, so I finished putting all of the straw pieces in here. Now I just need to mix the rest of the cement that I have. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I'm guessing I can clean this up. I don't know how to fix this. Uh oh. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I would suggest being better at pouring. This should help get air bubbles out, apparently. <laughs> Let's see. How these turned out. Ugh, I'm super nervous. All right, here it is. One thing that gets stuck in the cement multiple times is my hair. Oh, this whole straw comes out. Look at this. Just push it out. How 
cool. All right, now I just need to sand these down a little bit. I'm just happy I have something to show you at the end of the video because I didn't think I would. But I did it. 